I think we're in a very unique position being a luxury hotel um, that, you know, these things are kind of already considered when we, when we price it in, into our rooms. Mm -hmm. um, so in terms of investment and energy efficiency or water efficiency investment, it's not, I mean, that type of question is not something that we ask ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, I think it might be a difficult decision for, I would say, different types of hotels, maybe like two or three star hotels might have a difficult time answering that question. Right. Uh, Janice, how do you see the sector picking up uh, on this story, uh, on this uh, trend, really? I, I mean, for you, while you make these changes internally, how much of scale do you see coming in across the board for the sector as a whole, for hotels as a business? How viable is going green uh, looking like at this point? So what we've been finding is um, we, this is the future direction, as uh, your previous guest has already mentioned. This is what the future is going to be like. This is the norm. Uh, when we first decided that we would do our single-use plastics commitment in 2018, back then there were very few cities that were regulating on plastics. And today, literally as I sit here, uh, you mentioned about you know, China's plastic regulations. And so this is what we're finding is not so much the whether we should do it or not, but we know that in all the cities we're going to be operating in, in all the countries we're operating, we're seeing more and more um, environmental, climate change, and plastics regulation. That's something that we're preparing for. If there are all these different standards, do you worry that perhaps you can get a bad name or get punished by investors or potentially customers for not following their standards? I mean, it seems as though we do need more accountability, but also transparency when it comes to measuring how green a company is. Nancy, you hit the nail on the head. This is actually one of my, the things I really worry about. There's just too many standards out there. Um, how do we talk with one language? Because if we don't talk in one language, people are not going to understand what progress we're trying to achieve, where we are in the journey. And so one of the things I'm trying to do is trying to have conversations with um, different standard, uh, standard organizations and really trying to convince them to, if we can find a way to consolidate the definitions, it's much easier for us to tell our story particularly mm. not only to the public, but also to, our, to the business community you're going to be making these types of investments. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.